Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow circle, this uh, blue semicircle, and this uh, purple uh, quarter circle, fully inscribed uh, in a square A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, quarter circle uh, is uh, tangent to this uh, blue semicircle at this point uh, P. It is tangent to this uh, yellow circle at this uh, point uh, Q. And moreover, this semicircle and this uh, yellow circle are tangent to each other at this point uh, T. And furthermore, the area of this uh, square uh, ABCD is uh, 1,296 uh, square units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, tiny yellow circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know the area of this uh, square ABCD is uh, 1296. And now our task is uh, to calculate the side length uh, of this uh, square ABCD. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square where S represent the side length uh, of the square. So therefore I can write uh, S square equal to area I've been given to us as uh, 1296. Let me go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides and there we can see that the square and square root is gone. So therefore uh, our side length S turns out to be 36. So thus the side length uh, of the square ABCD turns out to be 36. That means all uh, these uh, side lengths uh, of this square are going to be 36 across the board. And here's our next step. I have connected uh, this uh, point uh, E with this uh, point uh, C, where E is the center of this uh, blue semicircle, whereas uh, C is the center of this uh, purple quarter circle. And now let's recall this uh, crucial fact, the centers and the point of uh, tangency are uh, collinear. So no wonder all these uh, three points E, P and uh, C lie on the very same uh, line. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, B, C is the radius uh, of this uh, purple uh, quarter circle, which is uh, 36. And this uh, PC is also the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle. So therefore, this has got to be 36. And we can see that this uh, EP is the radius of this uh, blue semicircle. Let me label uh, this radius uh, as uppercase R. And uh, this uh, AE segment is uh, radius uh, uppercase R as well of this uh, blue semicircle. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EBC. We can see that this uh, whole uh, length uh, EC is going to be 36 uh, plus this uh, uppercase R. So I can write uh, 36 uh, plus uh, uppercase R. And moreover, let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, length uh, is uh, 36. Uh, this uh, tiny length is uh, uppercase R. So therefore, uh, this uh, length uh, EB is going to be 36 uh, minus uh, uppercase R. And finally, the side length uh, of this uh, triangle uh, is uh, 36. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me call this uh, longest leg as our side uh, c. I'm going to call uh, this side lowercase a and this side uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean uh, formula. a in our case is uh, 36 uh, minus uh, r becomes whole uh, square and b is uh, 36 uh, becomes whole square equal to c in our case is uh, 36 plus uppercase R whole square. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity A minus B whole square could be written as A square minus 2AB plus B square. We are going to apply it on the left hand side uh, binomial. 
So therefore, this could be written as 1296 minus 72 R plus R square plus the square of 36 is 1296 equals to and now let's recall another identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it on the right hand side so therefore right hand side is going to become 1296 plus 72 r plus r square and now we can see this r square cancels out with this r square this 1296 is gone with this 1296 so thus we are ended up with the 1296 minus 72R equal to 72R. And now let's go ahead and add 72R on both sides. This is gone. So therefore we are ended up with the 144R equals to 1296. And now let's divide 144 on both sides. So therefore our radius upper case R turns out to be 9. So therefore this our uppercase radius uh, R turns out to be 9. And here's our next step. I have connected uh, this uh, center E with this uh, center O as you can see. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, length uh, is the radius of this uh, blue semicircle. So this has got to be 9. And we can see that this is the radius of this uh, tiny yellow circle. Let me label this radius as uh, lowercase r. And here's our next step. I have connected uh, this center O with this uh, point of tangency G. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle uh, between the radius and the tangent line uh, will always be 90 degrees. As you can see in this uh, diagram, this is our radius and this is our tangent line. So no wonder this angle has got to be 90 degrees. So therefore our this uh, angle uh, has got to be 90 degrees uh, as well. And once again uh, this uh, OG length uh, is our radius lowercase r. And finally I have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular uh, OF on this uh, line uh, AB as you can see. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EFO, this uh, tiny triangle. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, length is uh, lowercase r. So therefore this uh, AF length uh, has got to be lowercase uh, r as well. And we know that this is the radius of this uh, blue semicircle which is uh, 9. So therefore uh, this segment uh, EF is going to be 9 minus uh, this uh, lowercase uh, r. And here we can see that this uh, whole uh, length uh, OE is going to be 9 plus uh, lowercase r. So therefore this uh, EO length is going to be 9 plus lowercase r. And finally let me call uh, this uh, side length uh, OF uh, as uh, x and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square let me call this uh, longest leg as our side uh, c I'm going to call uh, this side lowercase a and this side uh, lowercase b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula a in our case is uh, 9 minus r whole square plus b in our case is x so this become x square equal to c is 9 plus r whole square and now let's recall once again this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square we are going to apply it uh, on the left hand side so therefore uh, this is going to become 81 minus 18 r plus uh, r square and then uh, plus uh, x square equals to and now let's recall another famous identity once again a plus b whole square we are going to apply it on the right hand side so therefore it's going to become 81 plus 18 r 
plus uh, r square and here we can see r square cancels out with r square 81 is gone with this uh, 81 so therefore we are ended up with the negative 18 r plus x square equals to 18 r and now let's add 18 r on both sides this is gone so therefore x square turns out to be 36 uh, r Let's undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore our x value turns out to be 6 uh, times uh, square root of uh, r. So therefore we can see that our this uh, OF length uh, which is x uh, turns out to be equal to 6 times uh, square root of r. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OF length uh, is same as uh, this uh, ag length if this is 6 times square root of r so this has got to be 6 times uh, square root of uh, r so therefore we can uh, conclude that this ag length is 6 uh, times square root of r and here's our next step i have connected uh, this center o with this uh, center of this uh, quarter circle uh, c and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, QC is the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle which is uh, 36 and this uh, lowercase r is the radius uh, of this uh, yellow circle. So therefore uh, this uh, total uh, OC length uh, has got to be 36 uh, plus uh, lowercase r. And here's our next step. I have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular uh, OH on this uh, line uh, CD. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, is our radius lowercase r. So therefore uh, this uh, dh length is going to be lowercase r as well. And now let's make an observation once again. This whole uh, length uh, is uh, 36 and this uh, tiny length is uh, lowercase r. So therefore this uh, hc length uh, has got to be 36 minus uh, lowercase r and let me call this uh, side uh, oh as uh, y and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, c h o and we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square let me call this uh, longest leg as our side c i'm gonna call uh, this side uh, lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this pythagorean formula so therefore we can write uh, 36 minus r whole square plus uh, y square equal to 36 plus uh, lowercase r whole square and now let's recall these uh, two famous identities a minus b whole square and the other one is a plus b whole square we are going to apply it on one on the left hand side and one uh, on the right hand side as well as you can see in this uh, next step i have applied uh, this uh, square over here and we got this part and the right hand side uh, we got uh, this part and now we can see this r square is gone with this r square 1296 is gone with the 1296 and now let's add uh, 72 r on both sides this is gone so therefore y square turns out to be 144 r let's take the square root uh, on uh, both uh, sides so therefore our this uh, y value turns out to be 12 times the uh, square root of r so therefore our this uh, side length uh, o h uh, turns out to be 12 times the uh, square root of uh, r and we know that this uh, side length uh, o h uh, equal to this side length uh, g d if this side length is 12 times square root of r so this side length is going to be 12 times the uh, square root of r as well so therefore our gd length uh, turns out to be 12 times square root of r as you can see over here and now let's make an observation we can see that uh, this uh, ag length uh, is 6 times uh, square root of r and this uh, gd length is uh, 12 times uh, square root of r and this uh, whole uh, ad length uh, is uh, 36 as you can see over here in this uh, equation so let me go ahead and fill in the blanks. So AG length is uh, 6 times uh, square root of R plus uh, GD length is uh, 12 times uh, square root of R equal to 
36. So therefore we are ended up with the 18 times square root of r on the left hand side. Let's divide both sides by 18. So therefore square root of r turns out to be 2. Let me go ahead and undo this uh, square root by taking a square on uh, both uh, sides. So therefore our this uh, radius lowercase r turns out to be 4 units. So thus the radius of this uh, yellow circle uh, turns out to be 4. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square where r is the radius. So therefore the area of this uh, yellow circle is going to be pi times r is 4 whole square. So thus the area of this uh, yellow circle turns out to be 16 pi square units. So thus the area of this uh, yellow circle turns out to be 16 pi square units. And that is also going to be equal to 50.27 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.